Hi there folks, Gareth here, and Lum Singh have sent over another interesting little product for us, made in China. These, I say plural, but even though there's only one of them in here, these are called, oh, right, okay, there's a, a box inside a box, so you will get a better idea, I thought it was just boring packaging out here, because it arrived in another box. This. I'm saying body analyzer, Bluetooth smart scale for iOS and Android smartphones and tablets. This is a 55 pound Bluetooth scales that, ah, here we go. It says it, uh, it measures your body weight, your bone mass, your body fat, your muscle mass, your body water, your visceral fat, your BMI, your BMR. Now, I don't know what most of that means and I'm not going to pretend to. But this tells your weight and it tracks your weight and you can look at it on a phone. So if you're wanting to lose some weight or put some weight on, because I don't know, some people might want to do that, this will do it for you. It, it also measures your bone mass. So if you wanna put more mass on your bones, you can do it here. Body fat, if you've got bags of body fat, you could put them on here and weigh them. Muscle mass, much like the bone mass, you can put more in and it'll tell you if you've got more mass than you did before, like yesterday. Body water. If you pass water, you can put it in a jar and set it on here. Visceral fat is a special type of fat that isn't normal fat. And this will measure it in numbers. Then the BMI is... Uh, body mass index, I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for, which is something to do with that and that in order. And then the BMR is the, um, the, the best one on here, which, which we'll, we'll get into whenever I think of something that that, that stands for. So yeah, excellent. Got globules of water here because you put it in the bathroom. Guess I wonder if that means this is waterproof or water resistant. Right, around this side we have Lumsing Body Analyzer. It's actually a really nice box. I was I was expecting that little cardboard box to be the extent of it because that's the kind of thing you get out of Argos, but this is off Amazon. So you use an app, obviously this one's for Apple, that's for Android, and it allows you to uh, to measure all of these, which I detailed earlier in, in perfect scientific accuracy. And then over here we have step on, step on activated, which is always handy. Uh, eight measurements, which are those eight. Uh, safety glass with ITO film. ITO, I'm sure Google will tell me. Indium tin oxide which is a special type of film that's over the top there that uh, it protects your scales, but also it conducts, obviously, your, uh, your, your muscle massy type BMR, BMI, through the, uh, the sensitive sensor material that's inside the scales. It's very scientific. But you, you might not understand it if I was to go into even more detail than I have already. So, so just... Um, just imagine that there's fairies in there and they suck out bits of information from your body and they analyze it in a little lab in here and then it presents it on the digital readout in a, in a type of number. And then there's an auto power off. Now, I can tell you more about that if you really need to, but I don't feel I should because we're all very clever people around here. And then uh, for the iOS and uh, Android apps, that's always up. Free apps, uh, there's capacity here. We get uh, four AA batteries, which are included. Um, it can take up to 400 pounds. I know one person that can't stand on it. Uh, the division is is what that's divided by. Um, the display is 44 by 58 LED, 58 millimeter LED, always useful for reading the numbers. And there's kilograms and pounds, and then it is that size. I don't think people, too many people are gonna be uh, put off by a large scale in their bathroom. But then of course, uh, 
cows and things like that have to stand on really large scales or dogs and things so uh, you wouldn't want one of those in your bathroom because um, people at cocktail parties would ask questions okay so in here in this pizza box we have uh, an old 70 that you can put on your record player it'll sound pretty awful and the the scales then we have another type of bit of cardboard with four holes in it very useful for actually there's two of them so you can give one to to your friend and then we can all go out and play a game of four holes cardboard very popular game around my way okay so there's nothing else in the box to speak of and here's the scales themselves and they look gorgeous I'll, honestly they look really nice we have a user manual that will probably come in very handy because these sorts of things are terribly complicated but I'm hoping this one's going to be really easy because of the app you always got to wonder about things whenever they've got working theory on there. <laughs> well, theoretically, you should be lighter than you were yesterday if you eat less. Okay, so it's a fairly detailed uh, 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 manual with colour pictures as well, which is really handy. Okay, very nice. We'll, we'll go through that at a later stage. Um, the unit itself, hi there, is glass. Well, it's a bluish glass. You can see there's some nasty fingerprints I have just left on it there. Uh, a centralised piece here. I'm guessing your foot goes here and your other foot goes there. There's a correct way and a, a probably a difficult way. Um, I'd, I'd stick to the correct way. But you never know, you might get crazy. And it says just Lumsing Connecting Simple Life. Connecting Simple Life. It says on the box as well. I'm not entirely sure what connecting simple life means, but I'm sure it's 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 out there, you know, just um, connecting your life online simply in a very simple manner, and that's what I'm hoping this is going to be. There's another black line across here and here. You can't really see it yet, so we got a cross in the middle there uh, to really help anyone who's having trouble working out where to put their feet. Right, uh, we have nothing along this side, nothing along this side. Nothing on this side, and on the bottom we have some hand grips for when you lift it. Again, quite fingerprinty, but then it's hot up here and I'm sweaty. And then we have a little tag there for the batteries. Click that open. Four batteries inside. PK cell. And then down here we have a reset button. And then there's an actual physical switch. Uh, to go from kilograms to pounds. We're currently set to pounds and we're going to keep it at that because it's a better way of measuring, to be honest. And then we have the feet, which obviously do most of the detecting of weight. Right, so, um, yeah, we'll turn it around that way. We'll set this up. We'll probably set it about there because I believe the screen is here. And we'll go and get the app. Okay, so here we are, the scanning of the QR code there has brought us up with this app with a rather funky design up there, which doesn't quite mirror this, but uh, this actually mirrors the phone because it's a reflective surface. Never mind. Uh, okay, so iWellness 4.0 install. There's been a thousand downloads of it. It gets a rating of 2.6. Not terribly high, but uh, manual says to install iWellness but QR Scanner wants me to install iWellness 4.0 on my Samsung tablet. Tried both and can't get it to work. Okay, now whenever I mentioned this to my wife that we, we were getting this into review, she went and had some, uh, had a look online at the reviews. In those reviews, uh, one person on Amazon had mentioned that there were three versions of the app. Okay, there's not three versions. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five versions. And he said to get the one that was three point something. Looking at that, there's 3.5 and then 3.7. So we'll have a look at the 3.7 one. That might have been, that's not the one that we were on. Uh, but it's got. 
It's got better stars and people are saying it works. This one here, not communicating. No, it wasn't the one we were on before either. Not working. 4.0 is the one we tried. And PT. Yes, now I think about it, that's what he was saying. There is a newer version, which obviously doesn't work. This one here must be the one that people are using. Also, it's the top of the list. So we're going to install that one and see if it works. So we hit open. Input your name. Well, that would be me. And I am a man. And I want it to be recorded in pounds. Stones and pounds. Uh, but there's a button on the back which is confusing me a little. Select my birthday. And we're doing this in feet and inches, which is quite nice. Your height. So I'm six foot two. I am ordinary amateur professional. I'm guessing that's fitness as opposed to a violin player or something. I'm just going to say I'm ordinary. I wouldn't go out running because I'm sensible. And my target weight is uh, 95 pounds. No, that's 95 kilograms. I don't know. We'll, we'll stick 95 in as well because I don't know the difference between uh, pounds and ounces and kilograms and all that kind of nonsense. Okay, so it's searching for the scale. Aha, uh -huh, we have turned it on. <clears throat> the Bluetooth light is flashing. It's showing zero pounds. And it's still scanning. And there's showing a percent line there, which I'm not quite sure what that would s signify. When we get to 100, are we paired? Okay, timeout, detecting again. Okay, it jumped to 100% there. And we've got a P up here for devices paired. Ah, that's what the P stands for, paired. So can we hit back or something like that? We'll hit save. Oh, right, okay. Please operate your Bluetooth scale. Okay, so there we are, we were 110 pounds there, and we get an error too. Okay, so after everything I said, the craziest of things have happened. Uh, I had to move away from the iWellness 3 app and go to the iWellness 4.0 app. Uh, unlike what the gentleman in the Amazon description had described. If you're listening to this, then I decided to leave it in because I thought it might be kind of useful. So this iWellness app, although rated small, lower than the other one, um, uh, does actually work so what i did is i stood on it in full clothes by the way that's why that's so high uh, on the floor here and uh, it took a reading through my socks uh, with body water body fat is five percent bone is 5.6 pounds being uh, these are all my personal details by the way you can't get more personal than this i don't know if this is good bad or what but it says here that compared with last time, I'm pretty thin. That's that's uh, not quite right because I'd I'd be up here, wouldn't it, in, into the overweight department. But anyway, um, and then obese, obviously down this end. So we can put a little picture in here, with the date and time, uh, the weight, and then we can get a graph here to show our weight on off and that kind of thing obviously i can't show you this now because i've only just taken it out of the box um I'll, you'll have to come back to me in a couple of days time for me to have shown you where i've eaten some pie and then whenever i've stopped eating said pie and got rid of said pie and then i've eaten some more pie and it should hopefully go like that and then we can have a list as well of all the bits and pieces down here uh info Gives us body fat information that actually looks a bit more like a, a printable 
chart that you could stick up for your family to enjoy. Uh, muscle mass and all that kind of caper. Obviously this is highly incorrect because I'm wearing clothes and socks at the moment. Settings wise, my information is just standard as we filled out earlier, although it's missing target weight. The scale, we can select a body fat scale or just a regular bathroom scale. I was advised by the manual to uh, select body fat scale. Then save as, and you can obviously output it as a text file or as a cancel. And then about wellness 4.0, it's version 1.3. <laughs> See, it actually says that for Well, that's 4.0, version 1.3. Uh, table of contents and all kinds of troubleshooting. So there, there's plenty of, uh, I guess there's plenty of margin for error whenever it comes to Bluetooth devices, but this one has uh, a good troubleshooting type uh, section as well. So yeah, we're going to go and have a, a play with this and set it up in the house. And uh, I will let my wife use it as well, because she's quite interested in it. Um, I didn't actually see anywhere that it said that it is... It has this film over it that I thoroughly filled you in on earlier, but it doesn't say anything along the lines of it having an IPX rating. So I'm wondering how well it's going to do in the bathroom, or does it recommend not putting it in the bathroom? Because it could be... It could... Um, have a problem with steam or something. Do not bend knees when measuring. Take measurements at the same time. Keep your bare feet. Uh, do not take measurements immediately following intense exercise. My, my mobile phone and my <laughs> mobile phone and microwave frequencies will affect accuracy of results. It syncs with your phone when you've taken a result, which is kind of odd. Uh, the result is just a reference for children. Blah 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 blah. Do not wash the scale under water. Do not wash it with hot oil or volatile oil. Volatile oil. Uh, wiping machine with wet cloth and detergent. Do not overload. Maximum is 405. Okay, so it's, it auto turns off after 30 seconds. And it turns off if it's overloaded, which is good because I stood on it and it didn't auto turn off. Ha <laughs> ha! and uh, due to faulty operations. So it doesn't say anything about water or that. And it actually, well, okay, and then it has instructions uh, for the iPhone using the health kit that you can share on Facebook. I didn't notice that at all. Oh yes, we can share that. With various different applications, so. Yeah, it's, it's not exactly the nicest looking application in the world ever. I guess it just it does what it's supposed to do. And you'll have graphs and things. And once you get into it, you'll probably rely on it. Uh, we've had a look at a, another set of scales in the last year or two. And they certainly had a much better a much better looking application. Uh, but we'll, we'll have a go with this and see how well it fares. It would be nice to have uh, just a few more bells and whistles on here to make it look a lot better, but I'm sure perhaps it actually performs the ta all the tasks that it requires with this because the uh, the Amazon reviews are very positive. So uh, we'll, we'll go play with it and see what we think of it. All right, well, thanks for watching and take care.